Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. Today I'm going to bring you a little video on how you set up your Tablet Express Dragon Touch M10X. So let's get started. First off, got to turn it on. And we see our little Dragon Touch logo. Before, the Dragon Touch used to have like a little ring of fire coming around it. We don't see that anymore, but no biggie. It's kind of a screen we don't want to see too often because it takes so long. Not their fault though. All right, so now we're presented with our little Android buddy. Those of you that have used Tablet Express tablets before, this is kind of a new feature. I've never seen it before. Uh, we're able to select our language here, English and a bunch of others. There's more if I scroll, but speaking to you in English, so we'll select English. Okay, then we're able to set our date and time and our time zone, which is already EST. And I don't want 24 hour, but if you like that, you can leave it if you're in the military, maybe. All right, and date and timestamp. I want month, date, then year. All right, next. And now we have our Wi Fi. It's disabled by default, so let's turn it on. All right, so let's. This is my Wi Fi, so we'll go in there and enter the password. Sorry guys, I gotta edit this part out. All right, so now we're connecting to Wi-Fi. We are connected. Next. All right, congratulations. We've gone through the basic settings and now let's enjoy our tablet. So first off, you'll notice if you've ever used some other Android devices, you might have some weird type of user interface. This Dragon Touch gives you the plain UI user interface that Android was intended for. They don't try to cover it up with some fancy kind of thing that just tends to soak up battery. So this is the plain OS, which is great. You have file manager, gallery, settings, music, and videos. If you've never really used Android before, if you don't like all these icons on your desktop, just tap, hold, drag to the top to remove and it's gone. It doesn't delete the program. It's like a shortcut on your desktop. It just actually deletes the shortcut. The rest of the program is actually right in here. So in here we have browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, downloads, email, file manager, gallery, Gmail, Google, Google settings, maps, movie studio, Music, Ubi, People, Play Store, Scenes, Search, Settings, Sound Recorder, To-Do List, Videos, and Voice Search. So, of course, we have our browser here. We can just open it up. We'll go to Google, but we can also go to... dragonblogger.com this pretty cool website I don't know if you guys have heard of it before but if you haven't check it out sometime so now we'll just close it out alright and so let's see what else here you can set up like for example your hotmail pretty cool file manager this is actually a pretty nice one shows you your storage capacity I have a 32 gig SD card in here SD card is unmounted and this is my SD card so let's pop it in again this is just to help answer a question for all my uh, viewers and Dragon Blogger readers it can take a 32 gig card gives you a nice option here though that let's say you wanted to have your 32 gig card be the default for downloads and installs and everything you can do that right there. That's a nice feature. For now, we'll go ahead and cancel that. Okay, you see here we have 12 gigs, though it does have a 16 gig storage capacity. So I'm thinking maybe the other four gigs are for the OS. Again, here's my SD card. So we'll just cancel out of here. Then we can set up our Gmail. Here's our gallery. All right, that's a screenshot of the desktop. We'll close that. 
Google to set up everything you want for Google. It looks like Google Maps, Google Calendar, all the stuff Google brings you. All right, Google settings, just for the settings for all that stuff. Google Maps, Movie Studio to give you some basic editing function, music, Ubi, let's see what that is. All right, that's our Ubi. So out of the box experience, we'll go ahead and close that here. And then we have people. All right, this is for all your contacts. Your Google Play Store, where you can get lots of great applications. You got to set up your account first. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Existing. And I can't show you this part. All right, so now let's go into Google. All right, and here, let's turn this now. So you can download all the games you want and all the applications, music all that good stuff, movies, whatever you want, it's all here. We'll go ahead, ooh, comics. All right, we'll go ahead and close that out now. All right, and scenes, if you wanted to change your background and all that stuff, you can do it right there. All right, and search, if you wanted to search without having to go to the internet, that'll go to the internet. We'll get the settings in one second. Sound recorder, of course, of course, to record your sounds. And there's my email and everything syncing up. My to-do list, videos, collection of videos, and voice search. If you're too lazy to type, I don't blame you. It's kind of annoying sometimes. But actually, talking about that real quick, I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna slide this back all the way back here. Tablet Express also sent me this little case. This is the Tab Suite PU leather keyboard case and cover stand. So let me show you what this is all about. All right, I just slid that out of the package. All right, normal little case, right? <clears throat> Wrong. So you can, this is magnetic. So see how it just snaps in there? And you open it up. I opened it upside down. You have a keyboard. Here's your cable to connect to the tablet and the little stand right here. So let's go ahead and put that together real quick. All right, so, and now we'll connect this t cable right over here all right let's turn her back on she just went to sleep and we'll slide it all right so from here if you wanted to do a search click on search and we'll type in dragon blogger if I spelled it right it might help blogger.com again if I spelled it right it might help press enter and yeah I want cookies why not signing into Google because we have a Google account you've already seen the keyboard so let's bring it in a little bit more And now it's bringing up dragonblogger.com. Again, great site. Check it out when you get a chance. And we'll go ahead and close that out. All right. And so let's check out settings. Settings, of course, you can set up your Wi-Fi, set up your Bluetooth, your data usage, selling you everything you've used through Wi-Fi. Not much. Only 22 megs, more. Just tells you you can set it into airplane mode, tethering and portable hotspot, VPN. All right, your audio profiles. You can general, which is ringing, silent, meeting, outdoor, and best, out enhance. That's a headphone that I'll show you a little bit later. Display. You can set up your brightness. Sleep will change it to 
30 whoops never we'll change it to 30 minutes all right and change your clock your font size HDMI settings I'll show you how to use HDMI a little bit later and mirror cast screen and that's it for here we'll close that and then battery shows you what's sucking up your battery right now go out of here storage sorry I skipped that here it shows you internal storage we're set to but we can change the default write disk the SD card your total space everything that's using up your hard drive right now we have 29 gigs available on the SD card and we have 15 total gigs on 15.8 total space on the actual device we'll go back and apps we can see all the apps we've downloaded you just saw me unbox oh well you saw me set it up so there are no downloaded apps internal storage there's no apps because we haven't installed anything here it shows you 264 megs used 16 gigs free and in a second it'll tell you here what's running process media Google Play services all the Google stuff let's get out of here whoops let's get back in there all right and location you can enable the GPS right up here yep yep all right so Google Streets and all that stuff knows where I am now I don't like that too much so <laughs> let's disable that and so now we've just signed in for the Google account so it shows what account we have we can add more we can let's go back up here set up our location if we had GPS again security settings you know uh, we can put whatever we want here encryption unknown sources all that good stuff and language and input for your keyboard like you saw below and all that other good stuff this is all pretty basic stuff I'm just going over with you backup and reset this shows you that you can back up everything uh, through Google services my backup account I can also do my factory reset if I've mucked it up you know it's all bad um, I need to I can't use the OS anymore basically I can just boot in here and put it back to factory reset it's gonna reset everything so make sure you want to do that all right your date and time settings here and scheduled power on and off mode pretty cool little feature and accessibility you know people that have vision problems hearing problems you can set up all that here printing you can print from your tablet which is a great feature and about the tablet this tells you all the good stuff about your tablet running Android version 4.4.2 kernel version build number custom build revision status legal information now mind you let me zoom in a little bit more you may see this in a month two months three months these might be different so don't freak out if they're different they are just updating things but one great feature I want to show you this comes with newer versions of Android even though I haven't seen it on the 4.4.2 previous build so if I click the start button or the power on button and I hold it we have power off and airplane mode but a great feature is reboot I don't know why that has not been included in other versions but thankfully it's here now so if I wanted to restart it I just click reboot and it tells me hey are you sure you want to do this click yes and you're good to go so more coming soon from me at dragonblogger.com again this is Iggy talk to you guys soon see you